Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to jump in and just try out some ideas with Planet Coaster. I don't even really know what brought this on. I was kind of just in the mood to, you know, I haven't played Planet Zoo in like a month. We did that zoo tour a couple days ago, but like physically being in the game, like that's what I was telling Basic Builder earlier today. Um, it's like, actually like letting off of planet zoo for about a month and then jumping in and actually trying some planet coaster it actually doesn't look too terrible to me like you know how before i would tell you guys uh you know i don't really feel like i, I jump into planet coaster and you know i may be in it for five minutes and then i turn around and back out because it just as far as the lighting goes, it looks so terrible compared to Zoo. I don't feel like building in it. I'm like, this looks like crap. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna go back to Zoo. Well, I'm just kind of over Zoo now. I'm over the animals. I'm over just messing with that game. I'm just, this is kind of where like my imagination can really run wild and I really like like it just this feels better this feels like a theme park crowd like look how far apart they are and it just it looks like this whole little area is just bustling I've got my little bus stop over here found these on the workshop um, and I just um, I just feel honestly more kind of like more in my element with theme parks and planet coaster like these are my people. Not to say that you zoo people weren't my people, but it's just zoo people are zoo people and theme park people are theme park people. And these little characters and just like, look at my little robot guy and the Stay Puff Marshmallow guys wandering around. Uh, Lockjaw, he's around here somewhere. This is just, um, I don't know, it just uh, it's just my bag, baby. I just, I feel at home with Planet Coaster. And I think that's why I'm waiting um, with a heavy, heavy anticipation, uh, Planet Coaster 2. Um, I just, like I said, it's just, it's what I started on. It just, what's it's what brings me joy creating these little virtual theme park worlds. And this whole kind of like, whole kind of like entrance area is really nothing but my blueprints. You know, we've got the big lodge up here from the water park. Um, We've got this from my safari, uh, safari park that I built. Most of this is like from the safari park. We've got Mwangas from there and also from uh, Stables Rest. I, uh, I found this really awesome entrance way. Um, hold on, let me make sure I give a, a proper shout out. Where is my little... Let's make sure, because I love this entrance. And I have no idea what this what this park is going to entail. I don't know what I'm gonna build in it. Let's see, this is by Sean's. So this is Sean's Epic Universe Archway. The entrance to the yet to be built Epic U Universal's Epic Universe Park. So that is from our buddy Sean. And this is like going to be the entrance to the actual theme park. So what I was telling you guys on Twitter and Instagram yesterday is think of this little area, like think of this whole kind of entrance area pretty much as a city walk or a Disney Springs. Like anyone off the street can come in to this little area, eat at the restaurants, shop at the shops, buy souvenirs. And down here at the very end, I brought in one of my old blueprints. I bought in, I brought in the Angel Light movie theater. So that's kind of here um, at the very, very back, um, which I figured would be a popular, popular spot. And that's why we put it in the back to kind of pull the crowd past all the restaurants and the souvenirs and the little coffee shops and all that. So if you're going to watch a movie, you kind of have to pass all of this uh, kind of like merchandise opportunity. And then your theater is down here on the left. And then of course, what is eventually going to be a very, very busy spot, uh, kind of like the archway that is leading into what will be the larger theme park. And then of course the 
premium side of the hotel that'll be facing the rides and the different courtyards and stuff. Um, obviously you'll pay more to stay on this side of the resort, uh, just because, you know, it has the resort view. This is kind of like the, the, uh, the Hilton, uh, Lake, what, what do they call it? The, um, the Hilton Disney Palace at Lake Buena Vista that kind of overlooks Disney Springs. So you kind of, you don't pay as much for these rooms because you're kind of just looking down on the shops and kind of like the, the little bus entrance area. And, uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta have to give a shout out to, um, who did our bus entrance? I found it, um, late, late yesterday evening and got it added. Um, really, really fun, super clean design. The bus entrance is, da, 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 where did it go? Hmm. And I figure, too, this could be just like a pull-up area. You know, anybody could pull up and, and drop off. Or you could ride the bus here, um, right, kind of like right to the entrance of the city walk area. And then kind of, you know, make your way back to the actual theme park entrance. Um, I don't know where that thing is. I might have to... Oh, here it is. Okay, my bus stop is by Mr. Orange's. So, yes, Mr. Orange created this awesome little bus stop. And he even has the little animatronics kind of here waiting. Has, has the little newspaper machine. And so, yeah, this is where the buses kind of pull in from behind the resort. Drop people off. Just have a little staff kind of area over here. I've got, um, I've, uh, I think it's Tom's. I want to say Tom's Workshop. Got those awesome little kind of like temporary lights off of there. And we've got the little car out here. I want to do like little Ghostbuster meet and greets. I think that could be really cool. And, you know, just kind of interchange this stuff out kind of as we're playing. Um, but, you know, um, one of my biggest worries right now is essentially what to build first in the theme park. Because obviously you don't want to like walk right in and there's a big coaster. Like, you know, I kind of want to have a little bit of a design build up, but I don't know kind of what to start out here first. We could do a little lake maybe with some more like, like shops that are exclusive to the theme park. Like you have to have a ticket to the theme park to get into that part. Um, I've got a little backstage area over here, kind of like where the, the movie theater employees can park at and you know, just kind of like just a little extra uh, backstage, little knickknack stuff. Have the Ecto, have, have one of my Ecto ones over here. Um, but that is what I'm afraid of most right now. Like if, if I had to, uh, if look at this little awesome little robot guy. I wish he moved. I found him on the Theme Makers Toolkit workshop. Um, but that is my biggest fear right now. What am I going to start with? Like, and you know, I don't even know if this is going to transition into a full on theme park. Um, it's just, I got my little food truck down here, kind of just temporarily parked right here. Um, and so, and that's kind of one of my things. I don't know what in the world this is going to start with. I don't know what this is going to entail. Um, I don't know what kind of coasters I'm going to build. I don't know what kind of theme it's going to have. Obviously, with the, with that entrance and what you have going on out here, this is going to be a higher budget, highly themed um, theme park. Um, Beyond Drew was even talking to me for a couple weeks, uh, probably a couple months ago, about starting a Planet Coaster park, but um, I think Drew is more on the realistic side of things, and with me just kind of in here messing around, you know, I just kind of want to go uh, just kind of full S, Dan, and so I don't, I kind of, with this little project, it's not going to be constrained by bud by budgets, and, and like you guys know me, uh, two weeks from now, I might not even be touching this, the, the, uh, the, uh, the motivation may be gone, but for right now, while I have it, I really want to focus on getting this first little part um, really, really detailed and really, really awesome. That's why I kind of don't want to rush this either because there are some things that I see that need filling out here. And um, I might even do like a little, 
Ghostbusters meet and greet right there. But there are all kinds of little things that I can add in um, before we just completely move on out into the theme park area. And you can see, um, where are, where's our little line at? We have a good, good ways out here that we can build. That line is like, I believe, right? I can't really, see. am I zooming in close enough? I want to believe like the line is like right here. Maybe even farther than that, but we have a lot, a lot of space. Yeah, there we go. See it kind of cutting through there. A lot of space to mess with. Who knows if I keep going with this, like what all of this will look like in a few months. Um, like I said, I, I don't even really know. I don't have any theming picked out. Like I literally just kind of jumped in and felt and felt like building a city walk area, you know? And that kind of morphed into, well, what if I try to build a little theme park? I mean, we're not playing zoo anymore, really. And, you know, I kind of, I, I, I still have a creative itch. There's Lockjaw. And we're, and we're waiting on a Planet Coaster 2 announcement that hopefully will come sooner rather than later. Drew is kind of on the fence about it. Drew thinks uh, Planet Coaster 2 is a it was going to be a 2023 title and not um, not uh, actually even mentioned or um, not even talked about until summer of 2022 when it's pro like when he thinks it's going to be revealed. So I don't know. I, you know, I still think we have time to kind of jump in and, and get this park going and really have fun. But who knows, you know, they could do it in December at the game awards. They could announce it. So, but anyways, I, like I said, I just kind of wanted to jump in and give you my thoughts on kind of rekindling some planet coaster, um, imagination and fun and I really want to get in and design some coasters and some lagoons and do some fake dark rides and maybe do it like a Universal Studios type, uh, type you know, park. Maybe even do like a Jaws ride. Um, I don't want to limit myself to like not copying Universal Studios because like I said, I think we've got the cool little pieces to do a, a Ghostbusters meet and greet right here when the food truck's done. Um, like I said, maybe I could recreate Jaws over here and do a little Amity Island, you know, because we have the shark animatronics and all that. Um, I just think we could roll with it. We could do like a little wilderness area. Um, we could do Disney-esque type shopping area. I mean, there's all kinds of things um, I think we could fit in here. I even have like, we could even start this out with that Adventureland shopping area that I have. And like I said, I never want to count out my blueprints because really they can extend the life of projects. Like when I feel like stopping them or, you know, just don't, don't feel like messing with them anymore. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. There are all kinds of little weird things I could do. Like even look at that right there. That like shopping spine right when you come in. I could hit everybody up with like the little theme parks, little main street with all the, like you got your restrooms, you got your island supply, you got the skipper canteen. There's all kinds of weird little ways we could kind of start off the actual theme park. We could even almost box it in, like do a Disney type thing where they close you in and you have to, you know, you kind of have to make your way down the corridor. We could get some kind of you know, weenie stuck up out there. Actually, I even like this kind of, I like this better. Like right when you get your ticket and kind of make your way in, there are the restrooms, you're starting to run into shops. And I could clean this up and even, and add even more, um, more uh, stores. Maybe even do like we could do the pathway kind of out through here and through here and make this a lagoon even, you know? Like this could just be like an opening, just like a little water area. We could do some fountains. That's actually kind of cool. Like I'm not mad at that right there. And look, with the Frontierland side over here, we could even like, you know, there could be uh, coasters and rides and stuff on this side 
already kind of ready to go themed out over here with this spine of shops. Hell yeah. I think we could, I think we could make that work. I'm going to try that. Look out for episode two on that. I really like how that kind of bends off and like kind of brings the, pushes the crowd out this way. And we could do even, well, I could get rid of, you know, probably get rid of all of this stuff and do more backstage over here. Kind of wall this off so people, you know, obviously have to go through the main gates. That is pretty cool. So that elongates this whole entrance area. And have a lagoon. Hmm. I am liking that. So I'm going to get rid of that for right now. And when I really get in here to put it down, I'll get in and kind of really clean things up. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is our foray back into Planet Coaster. What do you guys think of my little misting fans? Aren't those cool? I made those way, way back in the day, like on that first water park. Got to keep the guests cool. Found that little Coca-Cola sign on the TMTK. Hell yeah, I think we got us a pretty cool little start. So you guys, obviously, you got to let me know what you think. Are you interested in this at all? Um, you know, do you want to see more episodes of this? This is completely up to you. Um, if you want me to film more, but I just think we're, I just think we're off to a kick-ass start. And um, I am definitely having a lot of fun with this. Oops, we can actually, I need, I missed a little tree right here. There we go. So much fun just jumping back into Planet Coaster. I'm gonna act a fool when Planet Coaster 2 comes out. I'm gonna lose my mind. Look at these little, look at the crowd. The crowd, it just so, it just flows so awesome. Like they really, really nailed that with the crowds. Like just the different, you know, the, it's just, uh, it's just freaking awesome. Like it's freaking awesome. This game's from what, 2016? Started developing it in 2014 and it still holds up. Like I am, um, I am like th this last weekend of building on this, I am 100% like past my prejudice of, uh, harping on planet coaster lighting. I honestly, I think I just needed a planet zoo break because now that I'm back in here, it's, it's just like I was four years ago. Like this, this does not look off to me at all. Like I know maybe to you guys that are really, that have been heavy with the planet uh, zoo lately, it, it probably looks off. But to me, uh, visually this, uh, visually I'm back. Like I'm, I'm really thinking of some awesome ideas to get this rolling. So anyways, guys, I know I probably kept you here way too long jabbering on about all this, but um, I'm just genuinely excited uh, to be back in Planet Coaster. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this project if I can execute some good ride and good coaster ideas. So anyways, guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. As always, don't forget to smash the like button if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe to keep up with more Planet Coaster content. I'm really, really excited to be reintroducing it back to the channel. And uh, yeah, I will catch you nerds in the next one. Thank you. See you guys.